Good morning, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day, and welcome back aboard the Scarlet Lady. Today is day three. We are in the Dominican Republic, the good old DR. We don't have any plans today. We did not make any shore excursions, but I do believe we are getting off the ship. Yeah. Just because and Why not? explore. <laughs> but we do need to head up to the galley to grab some breakfast and some coffee. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I hope you guys are. Let's go do this. Back in the galley for breakfast, they have some grab-and-go items, like some fresh fruit, yogurt, granola bar, overnight oats, passing by well-bred. It smells so good right here. They have some fresh pastries. Everything looks so good. And then down here, you can find some more yogurt, overnight oats, Chia pudding, mixed fruits. They have a coffee bar called Grounds Club 2, where you can get your coffee. Oh, look at this view. It is beautiful here. Wow. We found our table, and look at this. There's USB ports and outlets here. I got the buttermilk pancakes. Bianca got the French toast. That looks amazing. These actually look like blueberry pancakes. I'm all right with that. Breakfast was good. I will say I enjoyed Bianca's French toast a lot more than my pancakes. They were a tad bit dry, and I thought I just got regular pancakes, but it was blueberry, which was still good, but Bianca's French toast just blew the pancakes out of the water. The eggs, the bacon, the hash browns were good. The coffee was some of the best, you know, included coffee I have ever had on any cruise line. It was actually pretty dang tasty. I think we're going to go try to sign up for the private karaoke. We are heading down to deck seven to find the groupie. Walking through the main atrium, and I mean, again, it's so quiet and empty. I am not used to this at all. I noticed this hidden gem of a spot back here. We're heading back towards the groupie, but at nighttime, this is the champagne bar. Look at this giant bottle of Moet. Holy cow. There's the Red Room, which is their big theater. And here's the groupie. <laughs> that name makes me laugh. Made it inside. Looks like nobody has signed up for today. So we will be the first guest to sign up for later today. There's the purple room and there's also the pink room. I think we're doing it. We're signing up. What time? <laughs> in the evening, right? Yeah, maybe like eight. Here's what the pink room looks like. This is cool. You have a pair of microphones, an iPad to choose which songs you want, a big sound bar and a big TV and it's all soundproof, so nobody can hear you sing. You can just sing your hearts out. Here on deck seven, you can also find Lick Me Till Ice Cream. What a name. This ice cream looks so dang good. And then if you continue walking, oh, by the way, this ice cream is included. Something to keep in mind. And then if you continue walking, you will find the pizza place to get pizza. So we're back in the room, obviously, and something that you should know about myself and Bianca, we are both very indecisive at times. Like we woke up this morning, we were like, let's just get off the ship, let's explore and see what we can do because honestly, none of the shore excursions caught our attention. And now I don't think we're getting off the ship and exploring the DR. I think instead because We've been walking around. There's like hardly anybody left on the ship it's because so it's very quiet. Everybody got off the ship. Because of that, I think we are just going to go to the spa and go check out the thermal suite, which if you have ever sailed on Disney Cruise Line, it's pretty much the rainforest room. I think it's like $70 for like a three hour pass or maybe a day pass. And you get to just enjoy the thermal suite. They have jacuzzis. They have like a sauna, a steam room, a salt room, etc. And uh, we like that type of stuff. So we're going to the thermal suite in the spa. I'm going to bring the GoPro to show you around. But I think overall, 
it's just going to be a relaxing day. Okay, we made our spa appointment for 2 p.m. We have about an hour and a half until our slot. But I mean, look, we're out on the main pool deck and there's nobody. Every chair is completely wide open. It's a little windy. This is awesome. Oh, there's beds open, babe. We can actually lay out on a bed poolside. Holy moly. I have never seen a cruise ship this quiet and empty. This is nice. Very, very nice. It definitely looks like it's about to rain, unfortunately, but... Maybe it is a good thing we didn't get off. <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> That's a sign. Regardless, <laughs> we are going to make the most yeah. out of today. I really appreciate the fact that there's so much fitness across the ship. Pull-ups, dips, you have a punching bag. We moved over to the other side of the pool deck, about to enjoy this hot tub here. We have a bar all to ourselves. I just really can't believe this. The dream right now. We true. really are. Another thing that I wanted to mention, towels are included. You just approach the towel station, grab how many towels you may need, or one of the crew members will bring you towels. Another thing that I wanted to mention, if you want even more privacy, and I've been thinking about maybe purchasing one of these, but I really don't think it's needed on this sailing because it's so dead. But this is what the private cabanas look like. I did ask a crew member if I could come back here. You have a private, I think that's a bed. Maybe it's two lounge chairs, a refrigerator, a table, shade in your own private view i mean you could uh you could have some fun in this because it's pretty much completely private there's even more privacy over here where the next cabana is exactly if you don't have a balcony like bianca said this is a really good option we are still on deck 16 but we found this little place called training camp and look at this even more privacy if you're introverts like us if you want to work out oh there's the boxing gloves nice. all right it's an all gender bathroom we are now walking through the other side of the gym and i did not show you guys this yesterday when we were working out but this side is for your cardio sessions treadmills ellipticals they have a few rowing machines more towels and a cycling room you don't have to pay anything extra but you do have to sign up as soon as you board the ship on day one that's the pool where we just were and do you see those windows right there that's the other side of the gym and that's where we worked out yesterday and you can find your free weights your smith machine and like i said we're on the other side now and this is where you do your cardio these treadmills are very nice treadmills i found this nice area here on deck seven there's like nobody out here but look at this view how beautiful look at this mountain it is well in the clouds. It's been a nice day. Every time I walk by this retro diner, I look at Bianca and I tell her, is this place open? And then we keep trying to come over here and it's never open i love these retro diners but look at the menu they have hot dogs a reuben a philly popcorn chicken wings pretzels i don't know what's going on but the arcade is right here and then the wake is just down this hallway but look at this something else that i want to point out there's two tvs usually they're playing like live sports and you can find a bunch of board games on the different tables like there's mousetrap they have two nice shuffle boards and then over here you can find even more board games with cards against humanity stopping at the grounds club which is the main coffee spot here on deck seven they have some fresh pastries 
some adult beverages, and more coffee. I need a pick-me-up. We are sharing an iced Americano. And here we are inside of the thermal suite. They do provide towels. They have orange water, restrooms, and your changing area is back that way. They have a mud room. This is so nice. What's over here? Ooh, they have a steam room. My favorite. Some showers all throughout. And a salt room. This is going to be great for Bianca because she has... Allergies. Yeah, pretty bad. <laughs> and then going back this way. Again, that's the mud room. They do provide the mud. Oh, you have them, right? Yeah. One There's the mud. per person. Oh my goodness. This is a warm pool, another warm pool, and then two cold pools, plenty of places to sit. And then these are heated right here, so you can lay out and enjoy some great views through the portholes. And then over this way, they have a dry sauna right there. Places to put your robes, more showers. This kind of looks like the rainforest room from the Disney Wish. Let's see how cold this water is. Oh, that's cold. That is definitely a cold plunge. How cold is this one? This one's even colder. And then you have a hot tub right here. Oh, that feels wonderful. Inside of the mud room, this room has been my favorite thus far because we just sat here and we put mud on each other's faces. That was fun and very intimate. They also have a real nice shower in here and then We've just been chilling. We went inside of the hot tub. We went inside of the steam room. The salt room was very nice. This is uh, what vacation is supposed to feel like. It's very nice. Also, there's not that many people in here. Honestly, I've been seeing more crew members walk in and out than there are guests. And I like how Virgin operates with the time slots. We're in here from 2 p.m. until 5 p.m. Here's what the lockers look like. They're a really good size. You have your flops and a robe. Look, another all gender bathroom. And this is what the changing rooms look like. On the opposite side of the changing rooms, you can find showers. Back inside of the galley for a late lunch. We both got cheeseburgers and french fries with a pickle spear. But I must say, these grilled chicken Caesar salads are the bomb. Got some ice cream. Bianca got strawberry and a chocolate cone mm -hmm. and I got coffee and vanilla in a cup. Let's talk about that thermal suite because we really enjoyed the thermal suite. It was very relaxing and nice. I loved how it was open. I did not feel like there were too many people inside of the thermal suite with us. I feel like for the price, I like how Disney Cruise Line will do their rainforest room where you have the option to either buy a day pass, which will get you full access into the rainforest room throughout the day, or you can purchase the entire duration of your cruise. So I like having those options, but then again, this was different. I enjoyed having that three hour window, but I do wish that they offered like an all day pass. That way we can kind of go in and out as we please throughout the day. But I love the options. I mean, I love the different experiences. I really enjoyed that mud room. Bianca really enjoyed the salt room. And we just really enjoyed just laying out and relaxing because that's what vacation is all about. I would go back. I would recommend you check out the thermal suite at least one day and just take it in however we did not stay the full three hours i think we just got to about two hours and we just felt like we got everything done we felt recharged and we were hungry so we left and went up to the galley and had lunch 
It was a nice time. This note was left for us reminding us that the DR is one hour ahead of us and we need to follow ship time instead of local time. All right, I honestly don't even know what time it is because we came back to the room and we fell asleep watching Super Bad, and then we watched the 40 year old virgin and now we're watching Django. I think it's about 7.30ish. We do have a dinner reservation for Gumbe tonight at 9 p.m., which is the Korean barbecue spot. We do have to sit with strangers. That's just part of this experience. And as you're making the reservation on your app, you do have to acknowledge you will be sharing the table with others. I'm a little nervous just because, you know, we're introverts, but you just got to go into this with an open mind and have fun. Plus, we will be having a drink or two before dinner. So I think we are going to start getting ready, probably go back to On the Rocks or maybe that champagne bar, and then we have dinner at Gumbe. Back at On the Rocks before dinner, we are starting off with a round of green tea shots. I'm also trying this Japanese whiskey. Look at this ice cube. Fancy. That's the one I'm trying right there. And here we are walking through the galley for dinner at Gum Bay Korean Barbecue. This looks so fun. I made it to our table. So far, so good. Look at the menu. That's fun. I'm so hungry. We love Korean barbecue. In Korea, they call this banchan. Banchan basically means small side dishes consisting of we have a bean sprout. The green one is a watercress salad. We have a Korean kimchi, a fermented cabbage. We have a potato salad and we have a Korean eggplant. I ordered some black label sake. Our appetizer just got here. We both are starting off with the chicken. Next up, we have our fried rice. I also ordered the kimchi soup. 25! 28! What number are we on? Oh! Go back! Go back! Go back! Go back! Go back! Go back! After we finish the grilling, if you want to try Korean way style of eating, grab one lettuce, put something inside the lettuce. This smells so good, space, and it looks uh, amazing. The, the rib, the we candy. have shrimp. There's octopus, we have put, beef, put and pork, pork belly yeah. coming. Yeah. Look at that pork belly. It kind of looks like bacon. Yeah, it looks like bacon. By the way, the music has been the best in here. <laughs> Lots of Drake. It's time. We have shrimp, beef, and pork you belly. Try it with lettuce, man, sir, yeah? Holy cow. We just left Gumbe. That was my favorite restaurant here aboard the Scarlet Lady. It was a lot of fun. We were nervous, but we got very lucky and we got sat with some very chill people and it was a good time. Great food. I am still hungry. Just wasn't that much food. So we're walking through the galley. I'm sure I'll pick something up along the way. One thing that I really love that Virgin does, they will keep their pools open throughout the evening time. Like, look at this. There's nobody out here but the pools are open. Coming up on the basketball court, the other day they were having a dodgeball tournament. What, they have a seesaw? Let's do it, babe. <laughs> I like these swings too. Just made it back to our room. It was such a fun night. That Korean barbecue was delicious. There's no reason to be nervous. I do think we just got lucky and we got sat with just the chillest funnest people and then we had such a great server we played that drinking game and it was just a lot of fun by the way we were talking with our server and he did tell us there's only 756 passengers on the scarlet lady and there's a thousand crew members it's not that packed but we are tired it is late we have another fun day planned tomorrow it is another day at sea we are going to wake up have breakfast go have another workout and just lay out and relax and go see more of the ship. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. We stopped to pick up some coffee before we head to the gym, but look at this. They sell kombucha. Let's go. We're ready for a workout. Bianca got her iced Americano and I have a espresso shot. Look at this view. 
It is a calm sea day. Interesting, they have a level 13 here. You don't see that too often. I think it's back day for me. Look at this really nice lap machine with the really nice attachments. I just cannot get over this view. All right, let's work out. I had such a great workout here on the Scarlet Lady. We were in there for about an hour. Got a good shoulder and back workout in. <laughs> Did I say good morning? If I didn't, good morning. We just made it back to the room after a workout. We had coffee this morning. We slept so well. This bed is so comfortable and this cabin is so quiet. I don't think there's anybody around us. We got very lucky. We're about to change, freshen up, and then head back up to deck 15, indoor 16, lay out, get some sun, go in the hot tubs, the pool, enjoy the music, explore more of the ship today, and tonight is Scarlet Night. So we are both really excited to finally experience Scarlet Night. I do wanna point out how convenient these bracelets are. So once you board any Virgin Voyages cruise ship, they will give you this bracelet, and this is how you pay for everything. This is how you get inside of your room. Basically, this is your key to the world card, but on your wrist. I like this a lot more, and I hope more cruise lines will do this, because it's nice. I ordered a mimosa to sip on and enjoy as we're just getting some sun here outside on the pool deck. The vibe is pretty awesome out here on the pool deck. My next drink up, a tequila shot. It's time for lunch and we are sharing the avocado toast. We have some french fries and some trail mix with Bad Bunny in the background. All right, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Made it back up to the room and look what our host did. He left a V in the middle of the bed. I just found out they offer afternoon tea on sea days. We're about to head down to deck seven. I believe it is located at the champagne bar. I'm excited. I've only done one afternoon tea experience at the Grand Floridian and that was years ago. I love that experience and this time I get to do it with my fiance Bianca. So let's head down there. We made it. We found a really nice table and there's the champagne bar right there. So the price of this afternoon tea party is $19.99 per person or you can do an upgrade and it includes a glass of Moet for $35. That's what we decided to do. But our server did tell us we can share so we don't have to pay the price for two people so I'm only paying $35 for Bianca and I yeah, we don't want to indulge too much so we're sharing just the teapot, one teapot. yeah we're sharing one teapot and we're sharing all of the pastries oh here they come look at this thank you so much holy moly yeah I'm glad we're sharing <laughs> I can't imagine having two of these for our tea we decided to go with the jasmine cloud and here's our glass of Moet. This is so neat. This has been really nice. I do want to point out, this is on sea days, like I said, from 1 p.m. all the way to 4 p.m. Oh, and this lounge is actually called the Sip Lounge, not the Champagne Bar. This was delicious. It was a lot of fun. It was something different to do, and it was relaxing, and I recommend this. Really enjoyed the almond cake, really enjoyed the macaron, the tea was really good, and of course the champagne. But now, let's go do some karaoke. You got a friend in me! We have legit been here for just about an hour. <laughs> this is so much dang fun. Ooh, look at the hallway lighting. It has changed over to red for Scarlet Night. This is going to be fun. A few hours later, we are now changed and ready for Scarlet Night. We are all in our red. But first, we have dinner at Razzle Dazzle. Razzle Dazzle. Which is their I signature restaurant. That. <laughs> that is fun to say. Yeah. And this is a vegetarian slash vegan restaurant, but they do have a naughty menu. When I say they have a naughty menu, that just means if you're not vegan or vegetarian, they have like a chicken sandwich and etc. Here we are at Razzle Dazzle here on deck five. I just got our dinner menu. It looks interesting. Sounds pretty good. Here's the starters. And then you have the main entrees. I think I'm going to order the Impossible Burger. 
And then here's that naughty list that I was talking about. They have the razzle dazzle pasta, ginger beer chicken, fried chicken in a pretzel pork schnitzel. And then they have a few sides down there. And then desserts. Ooh, they have milk and cookies. Check this out. I was overlooking the cocktail menu and they have this popcorn old fashioned for $15 and it has Buffalo Trace in it. Plus fig. I think I may get it, but it's with popcorn. Look at my popcorn old fashioned. How cool is this? It's actual popcorn, smells like popcorn. I have to try it. This drink is absolutely amazing. You can never go wrong with Buffalo Trace plus the fig, and then you can just eat the popcorn from it. Amazing. But Bianca is skipping dinner because we did order a room service, but she ordered the rainbow churros with what? Ube ice cream? Yes, and like a strawberry drizzle. Bianca's churros, they were good, but they did come out cold. But they were pretty okay with that strawberry sauce. The ube ice cream, eh, it was okay. It was a mess. <laughs> yeah, it was a mess for us. And here's my Impossible Burger. It smells really good. I also got some french fries. So, we just left Razzle Dazzle. Wasn't our favorite. The food was just kind of cold. Yeah, it was, well, I'm only gonna save my review for the churros, because right. that's all I ordered. Because yeah. I wasn't hungry, but I wanted to try that. Yeah. They came out cold. Um, I had a few bites. Yeah. But the menu just didn't look too intriguing to me, so I'm glad I just got the churros, I right. guess. In my opinion, I didn't care for it. And that's fair. For the fair. menu or for the churros. And we're not vegan or vegetarian, but we wanted to try it. My Impossible Burger. I, you said I, you liked the one at Epcot better. Yeah, the one at Epcot is Our always seats? the best. Is that what it's called? I think so. <laughs> for festival, which one? Um, festival of uh, food and wine. Food and wine, one of the festivals. But we enjoyed it. Let's move on. <laughs> Whoa, look at the octopus tentacles on the stairs here. That's dope. Made it up on deck 15. Look at this giant octopus. It's time for Scarlet Night. Yes, sir. My man. <laughs> the high priest of the high sea. Thank you all. Tonight. Godless as she grants us safe passage. But first, a toast to the sailors! Raise your glass and repeat after me. By the cut of your chin, cut of your chin. by the flight of the crow. If there's no wind to sail, then get out and blow! Attraction, I want to marry the moon. Might have started a chain reaction. If you got me what I want, then I need to leave you. So give me life like your air as I breathe. Oh boy, that was wild. <laughs> Back in the room, we had a lot of fun for that pool party for Scarlet Night. Really enjoyed the music, wouldn't you say? I loved it. It was a blast. You yeah. can't miss out on Scarlet Night. It's a lot of fun. Can't miss it. People are wild. The music's flowing. The performers are out. There's so much going on. We're going to head back downstairs, have a few more drinks, and then head back to the manor to close out the night. And the manor is their nightclub. It's open every single night.
Wow, wow, wow. What a night. It was a lot of fun, but I am exhausted. Bianca is already passed out. I'm going to call it a night. Scarlet Night was amazing. It is definitely a cannot miss when you cruise on Virgin. We did a lot of relaxing and it was much needed. I feel great. Tomorrow we're at Bimini, which is their private beach club. It's going to be a lot of fun and we're supposed to have perfect weather. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I love you all. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming, out. Good night.